Bob Quinn's Atlantean, a four-part documentary series explores an Irishman's rejection of the Celtic identity, it is a fascinating journey that explores the connection between the Gales, Africa, the Middle East, and even reaches the land of the Tartars. In the fourth film, the journey takes him to Russia. When Bob Quinn initially undertook his journey, in the mid-1980s, DNA analysis had yet to be developed. Bob Quinn started out as the head of Irish state television, Radio Telefies Aaron, R.T.E. His time at RTE was marked by challenges. Quinn's approach has always been unique. His book The Maverick is worth reading. His career with RTE and his rebellious flight to the west of Ireland was truly fortunate because it resulted in the birth of the Atlantean series. With some seriousness he thought, if I am Irish, then I should live somewhere Irish is spoken. In 1969, he left Dublin for the Gaeltic region of Connemara, in the west of Ireland, making his home in Caro overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. It should be noted that in 2019 the Irish Language Commissioner's investigation found that RTE had failed in its statutory obligation to the Irish language, and was in breach of the Broadcasting Act. The Commissioner's finding that only 0.7% of television output is in Irish. Could there be a conspiracy against the Irish language? On leaving RTE in 1969, Bob Quinn's letter warned of this monolith. He decided to settle in the village of Caro where he founded the film company Sinegale. His pioneering film Poitine, 1979, was the first Irish film drama produced completely in the Irish language. Since then, he has produced over 60 films and he certainly deserves the title father of Irish film Bob Quinn noticed, the response from conservative academics and particularly Celtic scholars was silence, while silently attacking the thesis. An exception was Professor Barry Cunliffe, who Quinn says, was pleased that a hitherto repressed perspective on Ireland had seen the light of day. Through his determination and dedication to the subject, the establishment has recognized Bob Quinn's thesis and his book received official support by the Irish Heritage Council, chttps www. Connemara. Org. Sinegale. Bob Quinn. Atlantean. Ireland's legendary Sean O'Riata, remembered as Ireland's most talented composer. On the origin of Sean Nose, Sean O'Riata said the main part of it is vocal, the song in Irish, many of which can be traced back four or five centuries in their origins. It involves a very highly complex linear ornamentation so that people hearing it for the first time think that it sounds Arabic music or Persian music. Reference Sean O'Riata, Danish television in 1970. So, Let's get back to Bob Quinn's Atlantean. He boldly states, the Irish are not Celts, but they are not Arab either. This is certainly true. Bob Quinn is adamant that the Irish, Cymru, and Scots should never be referred to as Celts, a label invented by Abbe Paul E. Pezron 1706 a Breton theologian from France. When reviewing Bob Quinn's four-part documentary series Atlantean, it should be remembered that the DNA evidence was not available back then. Not so long ago, the BBC weather broadcast did not include the Irish Republic. Bob Quinn humorously noted, The colonizer has even edited Irish out of the weather. He asked, Has this happened with written histories? Reference Bob Quinn Atlantean documentary. Well the answer is an overwhelming yes. The BBC weather broadcast did include the weather over France, Belgium, Spain, and even Iceland. The Irish Republic, only a few hundred miles away, was excluded. The only news that we consumed in Britain was coverage of the Troubles, the struggle between the Irish Republican Army, loyalist paramilitary groups, and the occupying British Army, nothing else was covered by the British media. What started him off was the Azan, the Muslim call to pray and its striking similarity to Irish Sean Nose, the traditional unaccompanied singing style still practiced in the Gaeltic regions of Ireland. What is important about Bob Quinn's work is that he is not afraid to challenge the Eurocentrics. He says the following, I want to challenge the lies of history. Eurocentricity, racism, and intellectual treason. The subject of Charlemagne, the Vikings and Islam makes Quinn ask the question, what was the extent of Arab cultural influence a thousand years ago? The dollar brings Coca-Cola, Dallas, and consumerism. What baggage did Arab silver bring? A thousand years ago. 
In what was a great piece of detective work, Quinn asks, did Islam finance the revival of Charlemagne's Christian empire in Europe? If so, what was the reason for this? Watch the fourth Atlantean film to find out. Available at https www.conamera.org. Find out more in the Black Celts Volume 1. Please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more research soon.